Torrential rains, fierce winds, urban streets turned into rivers. A recent tropical storm has struck southern China and northern Vietnam, disrupting millions of lives and exposing the growing risks of climate-fueled weather events. In this video, we uncover how this storm unfolded, the damage it caused, and why regional preparedness is more critical than ever. In early July, a tropical storm emerged over the South China Sea, a region notorious for breeding powerful weather systems during the summer months. With sea surface temperatures hovering above 27 degrees Celsius, ideal conditions were set for rapid storm development. Pushed westward by upper-level wind patterns, the storm gained strength and made landfall first in southern China before moving into northern Vietnam. Southern China was hit hard. Provinces like Guangdong, Guangxi, and Hainan recorded intense rainfall, some exceeding 200 millimeters within 48 hours. Streets in multiple cities flooded rapidly, overwhelming drainage systems and paralyzing transport. Emergency crews were dispatched to assist stranded residents, clear roads, and manage traffic chaos. In hilly areas, heavy rains triggered landslides that isolated communities and blocked major routes. Winds exceeding 100 km per hour tore through coastal districts, uprooting trees, shattering windows, and damaging infrastructure. Power lines were knocked down, leaving thousands without electricity. Local governments in China responded swiftly, activating emergency protocols, deploying first responders, and opening temporary shelters for those displaced. The China Meteorological Administration issued continuous alerts, urging people to remain indoors and avoid flood-prone areas. Agriculture also suffered. Farmlands in the storm's path were submerged. Rice paddies and fruit plantations sustained heavy losses, especially in low-lying rural zones. For many farmers, this storm hit during a critical growth phase, increasing economic strain. As the system moved westward into Vietnam, the country's northern provinces braced for impact. Mountainous terrain, already saturated from prior rainfall, was primed for flash floods and landslides. Hanoi and nearby cities experienced localized flooding, while rural areas faced road closures and disrupted supplies. The Vietnamese National Center for Hydrometeorological Forecasting played a key role, issuing early warnings and working closely with provincial leaders to evacuate at-risk families. Though damage was significant, fatalities were limited thanks to fast response and better forecasting tools now available in both countries. Over the past decade, China and Vietnam have upgraded their disaster management systems, improving early warning networks, educating the public, and investing in resilient infrastructure. But long-term risks remain. Climate change is intensifying the frequency and severity of tropical storms. Warmer oceans provide more energy to developing systems, increasing rainfall and wind intensity. Simultaneously, rapid urban growth places more people in flood-prone zones, 
where outdated drainage and poor planning amplify the threat. To combat this, both nations are investing in smarter cities, flood-resilient roads, upgraded sewage networks, and stricter building codes in vulnerable areas. Coastal defenses are also being reinforced, especially in regions repeatedly impacted by seasonal storms. Cross-border collaboration is improving too. China and Vietnam now share real-time weather data and coordinate emergency responses for transboundary events. This cooperation helps both sides react faster and more effectively. For communities living in storm zones, preparedness is still the strongest defense. Knowing evacuation routes, having a stocked emergency kit, and following official guidance can make a life-saving difference. Public awareness campaigns continue to teach people how to react before, during, and after severe weather. In conclusion, while this storm wasn't the strongest on record, its impact was widespread. From flooded streets to battered crops, it highlighted how early warnings, quick government action, and community readiness can limit disaster. As the region faces a future of more extreme storms, Continued investment in adaptation and resilience will be crucial. Thank you.